Zoom, 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 let go. What up, what up, what up? What's going on, y'all? You can't see me here today to talk with you about the Xbox One fix for the black screen of death. Now, I got up the other day and I had the black screen of death. I turned on my console, the green screen comes up, and it goes to a black screen. I tweeted with Microsoft support, and that's an option if you're having issues. Tweet these companies and their support uh, links or their support handles, and they usually respond. One of the first things that you will need is a USB with at least two gigabytes of space. Next, you'll need Microsoft's offline system update diagnostic tool and i have it in the link down here so check the link and um you click to it now during the instructions one of the things they say you'll need um is your operating system version it'll it'll actually say in the instructions so check your operating system it's probably the second one if you're current with your updates um then once you download the zip file of your operating system from microsoft you just unzip it and then you put it on the zip drive and then you put it in the Xbox and you have to press a certain series of buttons which we're gonna do in a second. Um, when you get to your Xbox One console after you've downloaded and placed it on your USB you're gonna wanna unplug your network cable if you're using it or uh, disable your wireless that's what I'm gonna go and do in a moment. Um, you gotta power down your console and hold the power button well, after you unplug the console, hold your power button for 30 seconds. This dissipates all of the power that's left stored in your system. So after your 30 seconds, you plug your power cord back in. You plug in the USB flash drive. Um, then you press and hold the bind button. It's on the left side of the console. And the eject button, you hold those together and then you press the Xbox button on the console to turn it on to power it. And you continue holding the bind and eject buttons for 10 to 15 seconds. And you'll listen for two power up tones a couple seconds apart. After you hear the second power up tone, you can release the bind and eject buttons. And then once the console restarts, you remove the USB drive. So the update will be complete at that point. And then you should be able to resume your experience so we'll see if this works in my case because i'm about to do that now okay so after i press the combination of the key on the left side of the xbox uh the eject button and then you power it up and you're using their your usb drive to boot off of this is what happened so i'm seeing if it's going to come back entirely um it did do the update Now I'm still sitting with a black screen. Oh, okay. Applying the update. All right, this is the next phase. So it may be working. We're going to see what happens after this update goes through. Um, let's see if I get visuals back. Okay, my system is back. Um, it's I don't know if it's temporary, though. It acted crazy, okay? Um, I got this error screen. Um, once I got that error screen, I said, why don't I try to plug it back into the internet and start the system? And it loaded, I saw my name, I didn't see my avatar, but it came up, like, and then it kept freezing and loading, like the download kicked in. So if you get an error screen after you do the update, try logging into your game anyway and turn the internet back on and see if it updates itself and fixes itself. But uh, it looks like I'm back. I have to play and do some testing. So what I'm gonna do is actually hook up my Elgato and finish the video there and we'll see if it, the game plays. If it does play, I'm gonna back up my hard drive. One of the first things I'm gonna do. Cause I have a separate, let me show you this before I go. I have a separate external hard drive. That's actually not the one, it's this one that I keep hooked into my Xbox and it gave me an extra um, two terabytes. I would get one of those and I would move all your data onto this drive because you never know when your Xbox does what mine just did. 
All right. So now we're going to go back to the game. And uh, I'm going to switch it over. And we'll see if it's working. Ah, okay. So as you can see, back on the system, I got the Elgato right. Um, it's coming through. I actually had to, well, let me go ahead and switch it just to show you. But the update did work. Um, it loaded though and I got an error screen. So if you see the error screen, don't automatically think it didn't work. Okay, if you see the error screen, and I'll put that up. If you see the error screen, go ahead and restart your uh, Xbox. Go ahead and turn it off, unplug it, plug it back up and see if it updates on its own that's what mine did i got a funny screen um but the green screen with xbox sat there for a long time maybe five minutes but then it loaded it came to the black screen it cycled the black screen was, was still up there but i could see the xbox icon loading and then it was good so we back on so all i'm doing now is just testing it Make sure you go to this page if you um if you're unsure, go to the Microsoft page. I'll put it down in the video links. But this how to use the offline system update diagnostic tool. That's what you'll need. And if you scroll down this page, it'll tell you how to flash your thumb drive if you don't know how. It'll show you uh, the files for the update that you need right here. Um, you just put it on the thumb drive like I showed you earlier, plug it in, press the buttons, and it'll boot off of it. And I was almost at the point where I was going to default and wipe everything and lose all of my information. Luckily, I did not do that. I kept trying the update, stuck with it, hooked it on up to the internet, and we're good to go. So yeah, looks like everything is good. Got my VC. So I will be back making videos. I'm going to do a pack opening as soon as possible. But yes, that is the way I fixed my issue. And it did have hiccups, but it works. So go get the diagnostic tool, download it. And um, you'll be back up and running, fixing the black screen of death. So appreciate y'all watching. Let me know if yours worked, if you was able to work out this issue, or if you have any questions about what I did or a way I can make this video better, all right? Appreciate it. You can't see me. Make your next move your best move. Peace. You can't see me, your favorite gamer. Zoom, 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 let go. Zoom, 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 let go.